So what I'd like to show you now in this video is how you can use some of the commenting features within Google Classroom as a teacher when you're marking the work. So let's open up our second version of Macbeth here and then I'm going to go into the handed in option and let's open up our students work. So let's look at this. Now over here we've got our files. This is the only file. If you want to look at the originality reports, we looked at this in a previous video. You can click the link in the corner to get to that video. You can click on this, that will take you to the originality reports. If you want to go to rubrics, again, if you want to look at that video, click on the link in the corner in the card, and then you can get to the video that will show you how to use rubrics. But what I'm interested in is the comment bank. So I'm gonna click on this comment bank here. And if I want to make a comment on this particular piece of work, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select a piece, it could be any piece, and then I'm just going to click the comment section here. So in order to comment, you have to select the piece that you want to comment on. And I'm just going to make a, a comment here, sentence, and then I'm going to comment. Now over here in the corner, you've got these three dots. If you click on these three dots, you can edit, delete, link to this comment, or you can add that comment to the comment bank. So if we want to add that, let's add that to the comment bank and then add again. We could change it there if we wanted to. So then you can see here, here are my comments. Now when I add a comment, so say for example, this is a good sentence as well. I can click on the comment. If I do the hashtag, then it will give me all the different comments. So let's have a look nice sentence and then we can comment so using the hashtag will allow you to then find all the different comments within the comment bank really lovely feature that allows you to just add many comments in the comment bank and then use them within your document when you're commenting on the student's piece of work in addition to that you can add your comments by clicking on the add button in the comment bank and then add that, and then that adds it to the comment bank as well. So again, if we wanted to add a comment, we can do the hash, and then all my comments come up. Here we go, and then comment. So that is the comment bank within Google Classroom. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, Goodbye.